This is Matt Mitchell, and this is video number two on 22 ways to reclaim your masculinity in the modern age. Okay? Uh, if you didn't see video number one, check out the link in the description below where I cover numbers one through 14 on 22 ways to reclaim your masculinity in the modern age. This is part two. Uh, so let's, uh, let's jump right into it here. Number 15, lose weight to drop the fat off of your body. If you're an overweight slob, okay, you're not going to feel good about yourself and your testosterone levels are going to be in the gutter to boot. Okay, like I said in the first video, guys, part of being a man is feeling good about yourself. And it's hard to look in the mirror and hate what you see and then be a self-respecting man at the same time, okay? The two don't go hand in hand, all right? So if you've got some extra pounds on you, you need to take action and you need to do something about it, okay? Because the longer you go, you know, being overweight, the longer you're going to go not feeling the best you can feel about yourself, okay? Change may not come overnight, okay? But if you really keep your head down and focus, you can materialize the image you have of yourself, uh, the in-shape image you have of yourself in your head. You cannot think this into happening, guys. You have to physically will this into, in, into reality, okay? It all starts with a mental fixation of that image of an in-shape you until it becomes a reality, okay? I've got another link in the description below on a recent article I wrote on weight loss, eight ways to keep the weight off forever. Go check that out. Um, the article and the video are both linked in the description below, okay? So check those out. Number 16, know how to prioritize your day and your life, okay? You'll be one disorganized mess of a man without having clear-cut priorities from one day to the next, okay? Every day counts and every day is important, even Sundays, okay? That said, you have to be very careful about how you structure your day, okay? Which is another video I did also linked below. Check that out. If there's one thing I've learned since turning 32, okay um it's that prioritization matters okay it really matters very very much okay if you're 25 you may not yet realize the vast extent to which prioritizing your life actually matters i know i didn't when i was 25 i thought i did but man you really learn how much how important it is to prioritize things when uh, you get a little older, maybe you start your own business, uh, and it's a profitable business that has you running. You, it's something you really, really learn. So uh, it matters, even more so than being organized matters. I think prioritization, knowing how to prioritize properly is even more important than being organized. And you know, it matters on a larger scale and a smaller scale, down to each day, each hour, and each minute, okay? So, just, you know, food for thought there, okay? Number 17, have self-respect, okay? And have the body language to show it. If you have bad body language, it's most likely a, re a reflection of how you feel about yourself internally, okay? It means that you probably lack self-respect, okay? So the issue is more complicated than simply correcting the body language, right? What you really need to be asking yourself is how much self-respect you have, okay? A lack of self-respect will sabotage you in every one of these 22 points that I'm covering in this video and in part one, okay? To be a fully realized man, you need to possess a healthy level of self-respect. You just need to, okay? Number 18, cell phone radiation leads to a decreased, leads to decreased sperm count and low testosterone levels. Hear this now, 
guys, okay? There is such a thing as EMR, which is short for electromagnetic radiation, okay? Some people call this RF poisoning. RF stands for radio frequency poisoning. To make this simple, let me ask you a question. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? Is it good for you or bad for you to constantly have a cell phone on you all day, all night, every day, and every night, nonstop, okay? What kind of effect do you think this will have on people 20 years from now, okay? When you actually stop to think about this, it's not hard to come to the natural conclusion that it's probably not good for your brain to constantly be exposed to a cell phone, okay? The same can be said for all electronic devices, okay? It doesn't take a brain surgeon to come to the common sense conclusion that it's much more likely to not be good for you than it is to be good for you, okay? Uh, you don't even need, you know, a study or proof to come to that conclusion, even though I think there probably have been studies and proof of this. Um, but, uh, you know, just use common sense, right? Cell phone radiation does lead to decreased testosterone levels and sperm count, okay? This is just one of the many contributing factors to the lower testosterone levels in men these days, okay? So here's a little tip. Keep your cell phone in your jacket pocket or in the pocket of your ass pocket, okay? Don't keep it in your jeans, okay, in your right or left pocket right down next to your nuts, okay? Try to keep it in your jacket if you have one or at least keep it in your ass pocket, okay? A little bit further away from your nuts, okay? Number 19, take testosterone replacement therapy, TRT, or at least use a testosterone booster. Guys, do not be afraid of testosterone replacement therapy. Get your blood work done, see where your levels are, and when the time is right, start replacing your testosterone. It's time to act like a man, okay? Men take action and do something about their lowered testosterone levels. Why would you not want to optimize your life, okay? Hell, forget about optimization. Why would you want to live your life on a subpar level, okay? Well, that's exactly what you're doing when you walk around month after month, year after year, decade after decade, ignoring your testosterone levels and blood work. You're barely existing, okay? You're meekly surviving. You're not thriving. You're just surviving like some disgusting cockroach, okay? Men are not afraid of a needle. Only a complete, total, and utter pussy is afraid of a needle, okay? Some of you younger guys, however, I'll admit, you might not be at the point yet where TRT is necessary, and that's fine. You don't want to start it until you need to. But, uh, you know, you guys that are at or over the age of 30, it's something you need to start looking, you know, getting checked, okay, your blood work. <clears throat> now, that's in the year 2019. You know, 20 years from now, the age may be younger than that, that, you know, men need to start looking into this because God knows how low the levels are going to be by then, right? Um, so if uh, you want to take a testosterone booster, then I would recommend Red Beast by Red Supplements. This is the shirt. Uh, RedSupplements.com has a testosterone booster called Red Beast that works well. Um, so, you know, if you're too scared to take actual testosterone, you could start with that. Um, Red PCT, Red PCT 2.0 is also good. Um, and for those of you who you know, don't have your heads up your ass and, uh, you know, are interested maybe in, in, you know, optimizing yourself beyond testosterone and want to know how to take it safely and correctly, then uh, I would check out John Doe Bodybuilding, okay, his blog and his book Straight from the Underground, okay, talks about some other uh, ways you can optimize yourself physically 
there's a link in the description below to that as well. So um, there you go. Number 20, take cold showers. Okay, there are numerous benefits to taking cold showers. Here are a few of them. Number one, reduction of stress, lowering of cortisol, okay, which is stress, the, the technical word for, for what stress is. Cortisol, stress is bad for testosterone, okay? Cold showers also help alleviate depression. They aid in weight loss, okay? They strengthen your immune system, they increase your testosterone, they increase uh, your energy and well being, and increase your focus and motivation, okay? That's not even all of them, that's just the main ones in my opinion. Taking a cold shower is hard, it will test your will, guys, okay? That's the point, all right? A man often needs to have his will tested, it's essential to his happiness, okay? A healthy self-esteem and essential to his self-confidence. I wholeheartedly believe that. Um, you know, if you know of another way to test your will, you could do that too, but one easy, quick way to do it is a cold shower, all right? So that's number 20. Number 21, limit masturbation or eliminate it entirely, okay? It's no secret in the men's self-improvement community that there are a lot of guys in favor of the no-fab lifestyle. Now, there is some confusion around this, which I'll get to in a minute, but First, I wanted to give you a summary of the immense benefits that you can expect to receive from deciding to quit masturbation. <clears throat> and you'll even start to notice uh, th these effects at or before the third, the, actually the 20 day mark, you'll start to notice these things. Okay, number one, better eye vision, loss of floaters. Number two, extreme sense of calmness and well-being, okay? I'm just gonna start going through them here. Improved memory, stronger immune system, huge reduction in anxiety, improved intuitive understanding of everything, okay? Huge improvements in confidence, lack of irritation or anger, but perhaps a little increase in aggression due to a higher testosterone. Increase in testosterone, deeper voice, improved posture, better sleep, courage, and an elimination of fear. Just to name a few, guys, okay? All just because you stop masturbating. Now, the confusion arises when men equate no masturbation with no sex. Masturbation is not the same thing as sex, okay? It's not even close. All right, when you have sex with a woman, you need to carry out the act like normal, however, when you are not with a woman, okay, don't ejaculate until you're with one again, okay, if you decide to do this. Ejaculation is what drains you of your energy, okay? Now, some men are more affected by ejaculation, by an ejaculation release than other men are, okay? In other words, I'm of the opinion, and I actually don't know anyone else that has this opinion, but this is an observation I've made, I truly believe that ejaculation drains certain men of their energy more than it does other men, okay? I believe it if some men are affected by it much more acutely than others, in other words, okay? That's my honest opinion. Now, again, this is something I've observed from hearing other men talk about this subject, but despite this, all men, to one degree or another, can benefit from a reduction of ejaculation, of the number of occurrences of an ejaculation, okay? Now, it's important to point out that I'm talking about two acts here. The first act is the elimination of your masturbation habit, okay, which is immensely beneficial for its own reasons, namely in the areas of self-respect, self-esteem, and self-control, okay? Second thing is a reduction in the number of times per week that you ejaculate, which also has its own benefits, namely in the areas of energy conservation and motivation, okay? Each of those, masturbation and ejaculation, okay, eliminating them or reducing them 
will will result in in you obtaining that big bullet that bullet point list I just gave you a few minutes ago, okay? But it's not all masturbation is what I'm getting at. It's not all ejaculation, okay? It's both of them for their own reasons, okay? So, um, if you have questions on that, put those in the comments below, okay? I'll have more videos on that in the future. But let's get to the last item on the list here. The 22 ways to reclaim your masculinity. This is number 22, all right? Maintain calmness. Never let people or day-to-day -day life get you too upset. It will be much easier for you to do this, by the way, once you drop the masturbation addiction. But beyond that, think about how the most, how all the most successful men that you've ever known in your life, just picture them, picture one or two of them, okay? Do they have an anxious or otherwise nervous and panicked demeanor? to them? No, of course they don't. Men have, successful men have a calm, collected, assured, and confident demeanor, all right? They're not too worried about what's going on in their lives or what's happening around them, okay? They know internally that things will always work themselves out. These men are not passive observers of life, okay? They definitely play their part, okay, day to day, but they are confident enough in themselves to know they'll do what needs to be done when that time comes, okay? They trust, in other words, they trust themselves, okay, enough to know that they'll make the right call when the time comes to make that call, okay? There is no need to worry about anything beforehand. They'll cross that bridge when they come to it, okay? The strongest and most self-assured men I know Okay, do not let other people get to them, all right? As a result, they know there is no point in trying to change another person's opinion, okay? They don't argue with people, all right? Other people will only see the truth or the light when they're ready to see it, okay? They know there is very little they can do to expedite that process for another person, okay? One example just popped into my head, Warren Buffett. Do you ever see Warren Buffett, uh, you know, get upset if somebody doesn't agree with him or has a different, you know, viewpoint? Do you see him trying to anxiously change someone else's opinion? No. Okay? He doesn't do it. He doesn't bother because he knows that that person will only see the truth or the light when they're ready to see it, okay? He knows there is very little he can do to expedite that process for another person. That said, men like this know intuitively that arguing is an inefficient, inefficient use of their time, okay? So, in conclusion, we're talking about masculinity here in 22 ways you can reclaim your masculinity. Guys, there is no such thing as toxic masculinity. That's a lie you were sold by the pink KKK Feminists, okay? Um, they sold you that lie, and a lot of men have bought into it, hook, line, and sinker, okay? Be a man and be damn proud of it, okay? That's what I'm trying to get at in these videos. The truth is, pride is great, but it's not even about pride anymore, okay? It's about survival at this point, okay? Testosterone rate, rates are plummeting. Okay, you need to be proactive, okay, about preserving and optimizing yours, okay? And uh, yeah, you need to reclaim your masculinity, guys. So you may have to go back and watch these videos again. I encourage you to also read the articles at missionlifemotion.com. Um, if you got something out of these videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments below. Uh, this is Matt Mitchell from Mission Life Motion. Uh, hope this was helpful. I will catch you guys in the next video.